Hi there. For those that are wondering what the difference is between suspended solids and dissolved solids, is illustrated here at my Red Robin iced tea experiment. As you can see, I'm putting in sugar, in this case, uh, Splenda. So it is now, of course, creating a kind of a murky while it dissolves. And as it's dissolving, uh, the temperature also uh, is indicative of what dissolving rate would occur. But here you can see that as I stir, the uh, Splenda is slowly disappearing at the bottom. I'm going to stop here and just kind of visualize what's remaining. So you can see that a lot of it's cleared up, but there's still some down at the bottom. So I'm going to go back down and kind of agitate a little bit more and see if I can just dissolve it some more. So right now it's just suspended solids as you can see it, but it will eventually all dissolve. Um, and it's always time and temperature involved. So I will try to leave this stirring alone. And of course you see a, a suspended solid of a, a little piece of uh, lemon floating by there. But other than that, I think we're all dissolved. We're back to ready to enjoy our glass of iced tea. Thanks for your attention and hopefully that'll help a little bit in understanding the difference between dissolved and suspended solids.